Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, what I thought I would do is show you my everyday makeup, which is obviously this here. It's nothing sensational, it's nothing too impressive. It's just what I wear um, if I'm popping out and about, going to town, going to meet friends, just something quick, which um, I tend to gravitate towards. So um, if you would like to see me do this look, then just, Keep watching. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna clip this bit of, this bit of hair out of my face. Very attractive. And I'm gonna start off with primer, and what I'm gonna be using is this Makeup Obsession Picture Perfect Primer, and it's just this here. If you can see that. And I've had this for quite a while, and I think it's one of my favorite primers, so I'm just gonna a little bit on oh and it always manages to fall off for some reason if you're wondering where i'm looking i've just got a little mirror here but i'll try and look more in the camera so i'm just gonna pop some of this on and i look really crazy at the moment please don't fall off and just a bit on my nose and then i'm just gonna smooth falling off I love makeup obsession products I don't have that many at the moment I've only got this primer and an eyeshadow palette as well but they are so worth the money so primer's done so next is foundation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the MUA uh, Makeup Academy Pro Base Longwear Matte Finish Foundation which is just this here and this is absolutely amazing I saw I picked this up because Jordan Lipscomb had it in a video um, and she said that it was really great so I thought why not try it it was five pounds and honestly I wish I came came across this sooner because it is such a good foundation I'm not really I've never really bought um, anywhere products before this um, nothing against them just never really picked them up um, but after John's recommendation and I bought something else which I will show you in this video um, I love them and they're so cheap like I said this was five pounds and it is a fantastic foundation um, it's really uh, it's full coverage it's long lasting and it's not cakey either which is what I absolutely love um, I hate it when you know you do your makeup at home and you look decent of sort and then you go out and in natural light you just look really cakey I absolutely can't stand that this does not do that I promise so the only downfall with this is that you get a spatula like that you don't get a pump or anything like that um but that's fine I mean what I tend to do is just pop it on my face oh get my hair out of the way did I get a bit of my hair oh Christ so I just pop it on and then just take a beauty blender and just blend it all out and you'll see that it goes a long way okay so now foundation is done i'm going to move on to concealer and what I'm going to be using and what I tend to use every day is the Maybelline Fit Me. Just this one here. Obviously, you know what it looks like. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of that under my eyes. Not too much though. Because um, I'm not really a fan of, you know, a lot of concealer. And then I'm just going to pop some on my chin. On my nose. And then just a few little dots here. And then again, I'm just going to go in with a beauty blender and blend that out. My legs are so sore sitting down here, guys. I went to the gym this morning and did legs. And you best believe I can feel the burn right now. <laughs> but that's a good thing, though. I always hate it when I go to the gym if I don't feel a little sore. Because I just feel like I don't need to do anything. So next, what I'm going to use, um, and what I tend to use every day, and that I've only just started using because um, I was really sort of 
what's the word? Uncomfortable? No, not uncomfortable. Maybe just not confident using. But it is a cream contour. Just this here. And this is the PS Nudes Cream Contour Duo because it has two sides on it. Let me just unwind that for you. So I had this side here and this side here, which is what I'm going to be using. And this is just from Primark. And I got this a while ago. I think in one of my older videos, I probably tested this out. But I thought I would try and give it a go again. Um, and see how, see if, you know, if there's any improvements. Um, and I actually really like it. I mean, I do feel like, I mean, I'll just show you, but I do feel like sometimes you can't really tell that there's anything there. Um, but it is what it is. So I'm just going to pop this on. Oh my God, it's really embarrassing. I'm doing the fish face. Does anyone even do the fish face anymore when they do their makeup? <laughs> Am I like stuck back in like 2012? Okay, so I'm just gonna on there and just on one side there and just up here and there. And then I'm just going to blend that in with this little brush and sponge that you get with the with the pack, which is actually quite handy. This side here. This is great for um, blended it in. So do you see what I mean about like not really looking like there's anything there? I mean, it doesn't look too bad on camera actually, but like in my mirror, I feel like I've just rubbed it off. Like it doesn't even look like there's anything there really. Well, it's not too bad in the camera actually. Maybe it's just my eyesight in my old age. And then just to ease up here, do the same. And this side as well. There we go. So I don't contour my jawline and I don't contour my nose. Um, I don't really feel the need to um, in every day. I mean, even if I'm going on a night out, I don't really do that either. I might put a bit of bronzer um, just down here, but that's about it. Um, I don't know, it's just something that I've never really done. Um, oh, actually, I have done it before. Let me just take this out now. I have done it before, but I just didn't really see the difference. And sometimes, I don't know, I just think I look a bit too, a bit strange. Um, so I don't really tend to do it. So next, I'm just gonna take a powder, and this is the Rimmel uh, Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. So it just looks like this here. I've used this for years, so I'm sure you're all familiar with it. And I'm just gonna powder with this. That's done. I'm not really feeling my hair today either, guys. I've just washed it and it never looks right when I've just washed it. The curls aren't really the best but um i really wanted to film this video today so so here we are so what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna bronze and i told you before that i was gonna use another mua product and i'm gonna use this one here it's the mua bronze perfection matte and it looks like this and it looks like this and this was four pounds um when i picked i didn't pick this up originally i picked up a makeup revolution one and they looked exactly the same, but the Makeup Revolution one was five pounds. So I thought, let's just go for the cheaper product because your girl's cheap. So, <laughs> so I thought, why not? So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm just gonna take a brush and pop it on just over where we contoured. I'm just gonna take it up a little bit here. If you can see that and I would just look a little bit a little bit warmer and again I've only re recently started doing the bronzer over contour I usually just used to contour with powder um, but I'm actually really enjoying doing this at the moment I'm not I don't really know what it does for you in terms of your features but it's just something that I'm enjoying And then again, just on the forehead, just to warm it up. So when I said sometimes I bronze under here, I just mean 
just like this, just to give it a bit of a, a bit of a colour like that. And I think that's okay. We can see that, can't we? Or do I need any more on? Put a little bit, a little bit more on. Lovely. So for highlights, I'm going to use the uh, Makeup Revolution Iconic Lights palette, and this is a very, very loved and slightly abused palette, which you can probably see. Um, oh, I don't want to show you it because it's just so embarrassing. But it looks like this. As you can see, I've literally gone through all of the shades apart from this one here. But this is my favourite highlight, so I am going to be using this today. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's just this it's pinky champagne colour. Um, and I love it. It's honestly one of my favourite favorite highlights. So I'm just going to dab that in. And then just pop a little bit on here. Just like that. Ooh, we're looking good. And a little bit on the other side. Oh, that was a dramatic hair flip, Caroline. Just a little bit on this side. I always feel like this side I can never see. Like it always looks a bit more dramatic on this side than it does on this side. But I put the same amount on, so. And then just down my nose, a bit on my chin. And then again, just a little dabble up here. Lovely. And that is how I done. I mean, it's quite subtle, but that's just how I prefer it and what I use every day. So that's just what we're using. Okay, next is eyeshadow. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which is just this one here. Um, again, it's very loved. Your girl is unable to get the funds for all these new palettes that are coming out. So if you come over to this channel and you're like, Callahan, I wanna see the new Jaclyn Hill palette. You're in the wrong place, one because we're recycling all the makeup over here, okay? So what I'm gonna take first is a brush. With a fluffy end and I'm gonna start just using this salted caramel shade here and I'm just pop that above my crease. Oh the lighting has changed. Okay so I might be concentrating in this mirror over here okay. So that's that there and this is just a really nice sort of transition colour just to build on. And then next, I'm going to take the shade Semi Sweet, which is this one here. Let me try and cover that for you. This one here. And it's just a dark brown colour. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and just pop it just where my crease is there. So just kind of below this transition shade here and just in my little crease there. And I'm going to do that really lightly. Perfect, and just the same on the other side. I'll probably speed this up for you guys so you don't have to keep watching me do this. I don't know why I just closed that. Lovely, so. So now we are just looking like this. I will tidy up these, these edges. And then for my actual lid, I'm just gonna use this shade in Hazelnut, which is just this one here. I'm just gonna do like a, and the so we're kind of going for a kind of brown smoky eye vibe. I'm just gonna pop that on lightly with a flat brush. Lovely, and just again on this side, just lightly because these are really pigmented. So I don't want to put too much on. There we go. And we're just kind of looking like this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to tidy it up a little bit. So I'm going to take the Beauty Blender and just go under my eyes and just upwards just to smooth it out and give it a bit of a 
Better angle on the eyes. Just like that. And that's kind of it for eyeshadow. Um, for my everyday makeup, I don't really tend to do it in a corner or take anything under the eyes. I mean, that's just kind of it. So then I'm going to move on to eyeliner. And for my eyeliner today, I'm going to be using the Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. This has been my go to eyeliner for about 50 years, just this one here. Um, I absolutely love it. I do try other eyeliners out, but I always come back to this one. Um, and when I do my everyday makeup, this is the one I use because it's quick and it's easy and I know what I'm doing with it. I don't have any surprises, um, like it's too thick or anything like that. And that was a lovely explanation of this eyeliner, so I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, don't mind the concentration because I've yet to master doing it with just one hand, so I will be using two hands. But I will show you once it's done what it looks like. Okay, and there we go, eyeliner is completed. Next, I'm gonna move on to mascara. So for mascara, I'm using the PS Aqualash Waterproof Mascara, and this is just from Primark. Caroline, what are you doing? If you can just see that there. I got this a couple of weeks ago, and it's great. I hadn't bought any Primark makeup for a long time, so I was very excited to try this. And I love a waterproof mascara because I'm an emotional girl and I tend to cry. <laughs> so it's nice to know that you make your mascara is not moving. Ooh, I really wanna try those um, magnetic lashes. I saw, I think it was like one of those GML adverts for them and they look so easy. I mean, I don't wear false eyelashes whatsoever. Um, about two years ago, I did like a, um, breaking my false lash virginity false lash virginity or something like that um when i tried false eyelashes but i don't really tend to wear them but i saw these magnet ones and i thought they would be so quick and easy to use i'm really tempted to give them a go so if you've tried any let me know um how you got on with them because i would love to know if they're worth it there we go and that is the mascara you can't really see much in in this uh camera but i love it it's very bold and it elongates and it lengthens and that's just kind of what i'm looking for in a mascara so i mean i'm a simple gal <laughs> um so finally i'm gonna do eyebrows and what i'm gonna do first is just use a brush to comb them out just like that and i'm gonna be using the revolution um it doesn't have a specific name it just says revolution dark brown brow pencil but it's this one here um it's very thin it's got a thin nib here which i love because i love a thin tip um because it's just easy to work with and then on this side it's just got a little spoolie on so i'm going to start doing my eyebrows now and this is kind of like my worst part of makeup because i have to really concentrate otherwise it just looks an absolute mess so Bear with me again. And what I love about this thin uh, nib is that it's so precise so you can really sort of get into those like gappy areas. Um, whereas a lot of brow products I feel are a bit too thick so it just kind of looks really blocky and um, which I really don't like. Now I'm just gonna take the spoolie end and just brush them out a little bit. Just, oh, I just brushed my hair. And there we go. We have brows. Okay, and finally, I actually don't tend to wear lipstick um, on an everyday day-to-day -day basis. Um, I don't really know why, I just don't really feel the need to anymore. Not the need to, but I just don't fancy it anymore. Um, what I do use though every single day, um, every morning and before I go to bed, is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, just this here. Um, this is absolutely insane for lips. I remember when this was all over YouTube like a couple of years ago when literally everyone was raving about it and I really wanted to try it then. But I never did and then a couple of years ago my um, 
sister and her partner bought me a set and the consistency was just not what I thought it was going to be because everyone obviously used to put it on the lips um, but you can use it for other things like sunburn, what else did it say? Um, shape brows, revitalise shine, soothe dry hands and smooth cuticles and nails also for symptoms of chapping, peeling or flaking due to minor burns and sunburn um, but everyone used to use it on the lips so when I kind of started using this I was like they put this on their lips this is really it's like a weird gel um substance oh my god i've got pins and needles <laughs> oh oh okay i'm just gonna have to say like this yeah it was a really weird substance but you just get used to it um so i'm just gonna pop this on and that's kind of it um, it says eight hour cream, does it last for eight hours? No, nope, absolutely not. Um, but does anything last for as long as it, as it says it does? No, I don't really think so. Um, but I still love it anyway. It's really moisturising and it tastes a bit like crap, but um, it does the job. So. Okay, so that's kind of it for my everyday um, makeup. Um, it's not that much really, but it's kind of like a nude vibe going on um but this is what i wear say going to town going to meet my friends um obviously things differ uh, i might change it up sometimes but this just tends to be what i wear if i'm sort of okay i need to get ready i need to be quick i need to go this is just my go-to sort of look and yeah that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video um i'm sorry it's a bit rubbish because this is kind of the first makeup video that i've done since i'm back and i feel a bit awkward and um, I don't know what to talk about with you guys um, so if you have some topics that you would like to discuss then please drop them in the comments but don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more of my awkward self um, and I'll see you in the next video bye